Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're on a bit of a, an adventure today. We've come up to RSPB Leighton Moss. Um, we've arrived nice and early um, and the aim is to get down to the lower hide um, or the causeway hide and see if we can catch a glimpse of the otter. Uh, we believe the best time to see it is first thing in the morning. So we're coming down, seeing if we can see it and then the plan is to stay throughout the day um, and see if we can catch a starling murmuration at the end of the day and hopefully intersperse that with a little bit of bearded tits, maybe a bittern, marsh harriers and all the other wonderful things that RSPB Leighton Moss has to offer. So join us on this adventure. It's just starting to get a little bit lighter. It was probably pitch black when I was filming before. Um, one of the th great things about Leighton Moss is it's all set amongst the reed beds so everywhere you go you kind of got your keep your eyes peeled for for things that are in the in the reed beds so you get a lot of bearded tits in the reed beds um, and they often will sit um, and then come out onto this the grit trays so they put a lot of grit trays out we're just coming past uh, a set now and the grit trays are there because in the winter months the bearded tits change their food source to um, the seed and they can't digest the seed so they swallow little pieces of grit um, and then that grinds up the seed in their digestive system so um, here at RSPB Leighton Moss they used to come out onto the pathway to collect the grit um, and now it's so compacted with people walking on they actually put out grit trays but it's it means you've got a real focal point to, to perhaps catch a little glimpse of them and see them uh, coming onto the onto the seat of the grit trays because they're really quite elusive so we'll see what we can see Well, we're in Lower Hyde and the otters have shown. Um, we, we took some local knowledge from a, a very kind gentleman that uh, told us that this was probably the best spot and at around eight o'clock the otters might show. And pretty much to, to, the, to the minute on your watch at eight o'clock, three otters appeared. Um, I've got some video footage, so I'll put that up on the screen. Um, and they were they were hunting we think possibly the mother caught quite a large perch and took that into the reeds to eat leaving the two youngsters to, to fend for themselves for a while um absolutely incredible absolutely incredible
Uh, so, we're just walking away from uh, the Lower Hyde and what an incredible morning we've had. We've had otters, marsh harrier, snipe. I've not seen snipe before, so we've seen snipe for the first time. Uh, we've seen... Great egret. The great egret came in, so we've got some photographs of that. It's been a really successful morning. Pintail, not seen a pintail before, so that was an, a first. So a really, really good first session. So we're going to walk back to the centre now, probably grab a warm drink and just warm up a bit. It, is, it has gone rather cold. Uh, and then have a wander out and see what else we can see. But so far it has been incredible. And a big shout out really goes to a gentleman of, I don't know his name, but we bumped into him this morning and it was his suggestion to go to the Lower Hyde. And he said that the best chance, it was the best chance of seeing otters and they tend to arrive at eight o'clock. Well, he knew what he was talking about because that's exactly what they did. So thank you very much if you ever watch this channel. Stopped in the cafe, had a lovely toasted tea cake and a hot cup of coffee, defrosted a little bit and now we're back out walking through the, the reed beds uh, to see what else we can find. Heading over towards Grisdale Hyde now, um, have a little look in there. We're aiming to be back at the Sky Tower for just before four o'clock so that if there was to be any form of murmuration that's probably the best time to see it. So. Just play it by ear, see what we see, and take you on the journey. So we're now at the Grisdale uh, Hyde, a bit plusher than the lower Hyde. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look round. Certainly had some interesting moments in the in the uh, Grisdale Hyde. Uh, we just popped into the Tim Gart Tim 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 something Hyde, and uh, there was a, a real buzz around the fact that somebody had seen a bittern. Um, and we spent ages staring into the same patch of reeds that everyone said they'd, they'd seen it in. Let's have a look what it was called, the Tim Jackson Hyde. Um, I don't think there was a bit in there. There may have been at one point when somebody had seen it, but um, it certainly not, wasn't there when we was looking. Uh, I, I took uh, several photographs and zoomed right in on those uh, different areas and there was no sign of it other than the reeds. So maybe, maybe not, but nothing that I've got any evidence of. At Leighton Moss, the wildlife certainly get close. Let me show you. <laughs> Hello.
quarter past four when we're on top of the sky tower waiting for the chance of seeing a starling murmuration. Um, I think it's a slim chance, I think it's probably like seeing the northern lights, you're lucky if you're in the right place at the right time. Um, but I can think of worse places to be stood waiting for something, can you? I mean look at that view, it is incredible. No, there's not really enough light to film, but we'll finish the video off with a, we've just walked down off the hide of the, the sky tower uh, and we've seen the starlings come in to, uh, to roost. Definitely over 10,000 birds. Um, I'll put some video up of the, they didn't really murmur in terms of making the shapes and everything, but to just to see and hear that number of birds in the sky is, is pretty incredible. Of all those birds. Yeah, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. So, if you've enjoyed the video, click like. Uh, if you've really enjoyed it and you want to see more, click subscribe. Until next time, cheerio.